love you. It's Ev. Evie. <laughs> We're in the bathroom. Kind of like a last minute video. I got my pink fork shirt on that I got for my birthday. Dad got it for me. Well, actually, he got me a gift card. And he says, I'm going to take you shopping today. So that was really nice. I think that works. I'm heading out to a couple parties today. So I'm going to throw on some of my favorite lotion and talk to you guys for a quick minute. It's more of a reminder video. Maybe it'll help those that are newly diagnosed to learn something that took me many years to learn. And sometimes I need to remind myself. So this is your little reminder. No matter where you are with having fibro and whatever else kind of health issues, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. You can never win, okay? You're going to have people that are going to be worse than you and you're going to have people that are better than where you are right now. I think fibromyalgia can progress. I really do. I know they say there's no real science behind it if it's for sure, but I don't know. Based on talking to so many of you Spoonies and my own experience, I think experience says a lot more than what any kind of paper could say. You know, like when, when you're feeling your worst, when you're just feeling so crummy, you just, you're having a hard day and not understanding how you're supposed to handle this all the time. Next thing you know, you bump into someone else that's got it so much worse than you do. And then you feel really terrible about yourself. And it's like, well, God, here I am whining and crying about myself. And they got it worse, which I yeah, try not to do that to yourself. But at the same time, I think it's good to remember that it could be worse. Like I always tell you guys. My legs are killing me, but I got legs. I'm able to use them, you, you know, that kind of thing. Then you got people telling you that, oh, it must be nice to be able to get out of your house and do this and that. And You have to. I have to get outside of the house. If I don't get outside of the house, then I'm putting myself into a really dark hole. And that dark hole is ugly, and I do. I refuse to go there again. I think there comes to be a part of isolation that is a whole other another mess that you don't want balled up with already with the problems you already have to try to tackle each and every day right and then and then when you do get out there then it's oh you must be feeling great today and um and then you get the extra big hugs or you're being told this and it's it's like oh my if you knew as you hold up that smile on your face like yeah okay <laughs> But no matter what you do, you can't win. Just do your best to be happy and be healthy, and that's all you can do. <laughs> Don't mind me. Nathan had to run out of town real quick. He's got Xander and Gracie's over by the neighbor friend right now. So, oh, I love the smell of this stuff. Someone walking by. <laughs> it smells so good, but it's so expensive. 18 bucks, but I got it. I got it half off. That's the only reason why I got it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to be paying no $18. Is that 18 or 16? Shoo. But it's sparkly. And it doesn't rub off on everything, except for when the, it's wet. Then it will, <laughs> obviously. And then you'll run into people that are a lot better, and it's one of those that have chronic pain, but they can take ibuprofen, and they're good to go. Or just one trim it all when they're in a flare, and they're, they're working full-time, overtime, they're able to do it all. But I just wanted to make this video to remind you guys, you are where you are, and that's your own journey, that's nobody else's. Uh, you gotta not compare yourself. And you're going to compare anyways, I mean, I do. You're not going to win. That You just got to do your best for, do what you know works for you. Um, I think it's really important to keep challenging yourself no matter what. Because like I said before, if you're able to use those muscles, do what you can to use those muscles. Because you don't want to lose them. You know, constantly challenging yourself, but not to kill yourself. And I know it's so hard to find that happy medium every day because every day is so different but you're you're putting in your effort 
just to just do your best and I just want you to know that that's what matters. I, I know I've heard that there's all these different stages of fibromyalgia but at the end of the day we don't know about anybody else you just know about you. So don't be beating yourself up because someone else has found something that works for them or because there's others that are saying they wish they had it like you did because it's so much easier to be you. They don't know that. They have no idea. And even if it was, you know, it's it's your body and you're going to do what you can for yourself at the end of the day, right? As I'm heading out to this party, we have a friend's birthday party. And then my cousin is having a farewell party. They've been high school sweethearts too, her and her husband. And then they have a cute little girl, Abby. And um, they've always wanted to go to Washington. So now... Now they're choosing to go do it, which I think is awesome. The last time I seen her was um, when mom was in the hospital. Or, or just after mom passed away. I'm not sure. That time was pretty foggy yet. But it was somewhere around there. So it'll be nice to catch up with her. And this is how I'm going. I'm clean. That's all that matters. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go with that. I just wanted to let you guys know you're already damned if you do, damned if you don't. You can't win no matter what you do, so just do your best. Alright, anything you hear from anyone, take it with a grain of salt. And you know, maybe there are certain things you can apply to yourself. Like I told you, like almost everything in moderation, that's... I have found good balances for me. I ain't got it figured out. <laughs> it might look like it sometimes, but I hope you guys are doing alright. If not, hang in there. I'd love for you to subscribe, join our Spoonie fam. And uh, comment below. Let me know what you're up to. Or you have anything you'd like to throw in a mix. Or if you relate. I'm pretty sure quite a few of you do know exactly what I'm talking about. But the comment section is always my favorite part. The video is the part where I get to talk to you. But the comment section, you guys always just add to it. It's my favorite part. Alright, love yous. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, everything's better with them, we're just like, ooh